Mario and Zylo back in VR. I have another broken arm and a deck made of dinosaurs ready to take on that guy. That guy over there. Hi. Mario Mania. Don't, don't you wave like that, don't you? Oh no, my arm. It's such a broken noodle. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess you know how this works. 4,000 life points. Decks pre-built for us, ready to fire off. Which one of us is going to win? You beat me last time. I had this Yugi deck, so... And I had a Jaden deck. You're looking deck. good. But before... Well, let's duel. Let's duel, but let's see who goes first. Okay. Higher roll goes first. Roll my dice! Evens odds, I call odds. You call odds? Yep. Give me that one, give me that one. Ah! Four. So it looks like I'm taking you the first, first move this time. Yep. Alright. I guess it would have made sense for that person to have the choice, but either way... Not bad, the webcam not again. Bad. <laughs> what, you just yank it off your thing or something? No, because it's in a precarious position trying to point at me that's not on front of my de my desk. Ooh, fun. Yeah, I guess you don't have like a desk that's just a standing desk like me, so it's a nope. little more complicated. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. All right. I got my noodles ready. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> what? <laughs> the webcam just refuses to stand up. All right, what angle are we getting then? The, f the floor. <laughs> you can't get... It's on your screen. You can't have it pointed at the floor. And don't have it pointed from the floor. That'd be worse. Uh, I don't want a, a floor ground angle of Mario. I'm sorry. What? My feet are beautiful. What? No, it wouldn't be of your feet. It would be from your feet upwards. And I don't know how baggy your shorts are right now. Just saying. I... Okay, my, I am wearing. In, I am indeed wearing shorts. I will say that. that. Thank goodness. That's a good start. Okay. Okay, I think I fixed it. Okay. All right. All right. So, I'll start off by playing two cards face down. And I will summon... Big Insect. Oh, that's a big insect. With that, Cute guy. I will end the turn. I draw. I set this card right here, and I play Pot of Greed. How do you always end up with this. Pot of Greed first? I don't know, but I got that guy, and I got that guy. Two good draws, I will say. I will now set another card. That was already there. Pot of Greed goes away. I'm trying to be fast, if you didn't notice. And let's see, what does this card do? Ooh, that can gain a lot of goodness. Do I... Let's see, he's in attack mode, chilling right there. So let's yep. try to get as much damage as we can immediately. Saber Source in attack mode! Oh, he looks so cool! He All got righty. a full-blown animation. Look at my insect just standing still. Yeah. You know what? For funsies, I'm not messing around here. We play... Mystical Space Typhoon on your face down card. Which one? Oh, you have two? Yeah, um, two. The one that's hiding behind the ant, because I don't see it. <laughs> that's how we're going to psychologically influence this. What was it? Live wire trap. Okay. And not sure where my hand is, but while I'm up here, you know what we're doing. We shall attack the bug. All right. Oh, no animation. Well, oh wait, there he goes. Yeah. Nineteen hundred. Seven hundred life points. Yeah, my nineteen. I will, in addition, main phase two, set one card, and end my turn. All right. My draw. Saber source. That's a good opener. Decent, but not yet. All right. Well, I will be able to walk through everything you got. Set one card and face down the fence and end my turn. Okay. Unfortunately, Sabersaurus doesn't have any cheeky piercing damage. But I draw. What does this card do? Um, that is the same card I said earlier. Okay. I don't love this card. Now I have two of them. I play the two-headed King Rex in attack mode. Now, what are we going to risk here? You got that many life points. You know, let's uh, let's play it safe. Saber source, you can attack the face down monster. 
Very few things are between 1600 and 1900, but we'll do it safe anyway. What do you got, You destroyed... Mario? You destroyed my Goki pole. Okay, uh-oh, that does something, doesn't it? Oh yeah, if this card is sent to the graveyard, I can add one level 4 insect from my deck to the hand. And if I added a normal monster, I can special summon it. Then you can destroy one monster in the field with attack greater than or equal to that monster's attack. Oh, lovely. So, check my deck. I will bring out... <laughs> oh, this will be funny. I bring out my petite moth. And since it's a weak monster, I destroy your King Rex. That well, okay. your king. Which one was attacked? That was Saber Source or? Um. Well, the King Rex is the one that attacked, but Saber Source is stronger. Yeah. No, I'm at, because I didn't want to destroy the one that's about to attack. So. Which is oh. The one okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. So the Saber Source already attacked. You made the right call. Yep. Yeah. I see you. Destroy the King Rex. Yep. All right. Lovely. Um. Darn. It's still my turn. I guess. That's probably gonna cut it and end. All right. Well Might roll. Okay. I set a card face down. I'll switch my Petite Moth to defense mode. Yeah, fair. But I summon my armored... No. Uh -oh. I summon <laughs> my armored B. Okay. Armored what do I gotta B. gotta be afraid of, of a little B? Armor B, activate your, your effect. Until the end of the turn, I can cut one monster's attack points in, in half. In half? So I use this effect to cut your Saber Source to 950 attack points. You're lying. That can't be real. That can't be real. Oh, it is. And now I'll have oh, to be no. attack oh, Why didn't I do this while I had the chance? Well, at least I... We'll activate just a break. Destroy all monsters except for face up attack position normal monsters. So, all y'alls get destroyed. Because that's my normal boy right there. I didn't actually realize it was the normal monster, so this actually is a sick card. I think you used to run this too, actually, at one point. I don't think I did, but not in the dinosaur deck at least. But yeah, that wipes out your monster field. Yeah, because my normal monster's in defense mode. Yeah, and obviously that's an effect monster. All right. Beautiful. It looks like I have to end my turn then. Oh man, is this going to be that easy? We're going to find out. You got more set cards now than you did last time. Ooh. <laughs> that's tempting. Do I try to go for the entire win right now? I have to, right? Rescue Rabbit! Uh, I don't think you can attack with the monsters that you bring out with that, can you? Uh, I forget. Uh, special summon to you. Oh my and god, I'm... Zylo. I yep, need you to attack. walk over to where I am real quick. Uh-huh. And look at your Just monster. Alright, well let me summon two more, then I'll go and look at them. Cause I... Why can I not walk forward? Hold on, I got this. Back it up. Back it up. Get it up. And... Oh, his mouth! Gosh! Look at his eyes, though! Oh, well, yeah. Anyway, but He's before cute, you activate it. your effect, because you have to choose to activate it, on your summon, I'll activate my yeah. trap card. Le layer wire. Oh, gosh. Remove from play one insect and then target the selectable monster and destroy the selected monster. Oh, man! You're right. Yep, because I have to... Uh... Yeah, I got no quick plays. It's just a regular activated effect. I'll banish my Golki pole. My, not my Golki pole, my big insect. Then. Lovely. Then. Then, I act. I actually can't walk forward right now. Oh gosh. Did you get stuck behind something? I don't know. Well, it's just. I don't know if it's the uh, controller. Sorry, I just got circle to get back to it. Anyway. Afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Afterward no. It is my I turn. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, it's still your turn. Okay. Attack his life points directly! Unfortunately, I have nothing to stop that. Lovely. This is actually a big problem, but for now, I move. I... Oh, no. All my movement. You end your turn, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna be setting a card, but yeah, I end my turn. I set a card face. I'll set down two cards face down. Oh. Now end the turn. Oh. Those are desperation sets if I ever seen them. I draw. Ooh. What are you sitting on? Well, there's only one thing to do, right? Whether you get me or not, we go to attack you. Saber source attack his life points directly. I activate negate attack. <gasps> no! Stop being your battle phase right there. Very good. He, he didn't make it. He didn't make it all the way to you. Good stuff. All right. I don't think I have any uh, back row cards that are going to save the turn right there. Oh, I can move forward again. Lovely. Oh, then I, well, sort of. I end my turn. All right. Come on. Yeah, you need well, the heart of the cards this game. Armored B! <laughs> I, I will activate bottomless trap hole. Um, not today, sir. Not today. Are you today. kidding me? Revenge! It's a dish. Best served with a side of fries. As darn it. Dishes. That is absolute darn it. Yep, that saves the game for me, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that your turn? Yeah. No heart of the cards for you. And I got unexpected die if I needed more. But our boy, Saber You had Zaurus. all the trap cards. Boom! <laughs> all the trap cards and one really strong monster. All right. I think that one was a little short, so we could do a little rematch. Yep. All right. I mean, Rex can win against Weevil, like... Once out of a thousand times, you just hit that one. Yeah, surely. <laughs> okay, now, now we see if I can maneuver properly. If I, oh, I can zigzag. I, I can't go straight forward, but I can. Oh, I could that time. I just got tricked the controller. All right. Well, go and let's do. Let's do. Why is it always I guess. Here? Would you like first or second? I'll give you that honors. I'll go first this time. Again, okay. All you. Yeah. This time, I'll play my pot of greed. Funny. Could have used that a, go a little while ago, honestly. Yep. Okay. It's good for starting, because then you can see the plays a couple turns ahead as well. Yeah. Then, I'll set a guard and face down defense. And I'll end a turn. Ooh, that light, huh? I draw... I'm going to set a card right here. Pot of greed. Consistency is how you win duels, my friend. I feel like you we're in the actual anime with how right often... There. I feel like we're in the actual anime with how often you're drawing that. <laughs> I know, right? Basically. All right, I now get to play, hopefully successfully, Rescue Rabbit. So I banish him and summon two normal monsters from my deck. Same name, of course. Check my deck. And you know who we get now. We better have two saber sources. Yeah, we do. Boop. Check my deck. I am terrified of what I'm about to attack into, but how bad could it be? So. Don't just get destroyed already in stars. phase two. Uh, oh, yeah, they do. And there's no extra deck to uh, really utilize here. And there's not like I can actually uh, like tribute someone right now. But that's fine. We'll get damage while we can. Saber source. Attack that face down. You attacked right into my Howling yeah. Insect. Ooh. While it is Just destroyed. Ready to summon another insect. Beautiful. With 1,500 or less attack points. Well, you know, he's going to be catching my second attack, so. Yep. Way to protect your life points. Set up your graveyard. Well done. And I choose my Goki Bowl. <laughs> Yep, that's a good choice. Is there two of them now? Yeah, it seems like I can only put two out. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Fair enough. Let me just double check the effects of Goki Pole. What does he do? When he's sent to the graveyard, add an insect monster from your deck to your hand. 
and then destroy him? All? Yeah, I guess we better attack into it now so that effect doesn't bite me later. Destroy the Goki Pole! Alright. Oh, you destroyed it. Oh, is this still now? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it might be a little glitched go. up. There we go. And then, yeah, I believe it. You're right. End of my turn. I lose my boys. Yep. And, and I've already normal check... summoned, so that's that. Check my deck. I can play. I can grab any insect I want. With less than whatever attack or whatever. Well, no. Um, it doesn't matter the attack points. It's as long oh, okay. as level four. The only one, if, if it was a normal monster, I special summon it. If it was weaker than one of yours on the field, then I can destroy it. Gotcha. Okay, it was the other guy I was thinking of. Yeah. Yep. And you know what I'm going to add? Mm -hmm. The cocoon of evolution to my hand. Oh, spicy. Okay. It's a good start. Okay. Is that your turn, Mrs. Elephony? My turn? Yeah, you attack. That was... The... You attack... Yeah, that's you... it. Okay, then it's mm -hmm. my draw. That was all on my turn, so yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll play my Graceful Charity. Lovely. Allows me to draw three cards. Man, you're getting all the goodies. And discard two cards for that. I will discard... Good old decks with Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity ready to fire. One, this card... And you check this card real quick. And this card. All right. Alrighty. Then I will set a card face down, and I'll end the turn. Not this again. I draw. Not this again. Um, I will play the two-headed King Rex in attack mode. Nice and simple. Two-headed King Rex. Um, I don't remember how much the uh, cocoon has, but we'll attack it. If that is it. You'd be wrong. Because there's another Goki pole. Even worse. Okay. And you already know what's effect. Yeah. Because now... I can bring out, let's see, there you are, my Petit Moth to just once again destroy your King Rex. Boop. Into the graveyard he goes. Well done, sir. Well done. I will end my turn. All right. Need to shuffle my deck No exchange first. of life points yet, but you're holding off my power this time around. Okay. Okay, I'll switch my Petite Moth to defense mode. But, I'll also equip it with the Cocoon of Evolution! Ah, no, the classic. So now Petite Moth's Second defense one. points now become 2,000. Gorgeous. But, okay. I don't like waiting. Oh, no. I play Super Cocoon of Evolution! No. Oh no, of Ultra Evolution. I tribute one insect monster on either side of the field with an equip card, and if I do special summon one insect monster from my deck, ignoring its summoning so conditions. No. We're so good goodbye both of these and emerge from my deck. Where are yep. you? Yep. There you are. The Great Moth! That's not gonna do anything. I'm looking for desperate times out here. And that's not gonna cut it. Oh no. Not only that, I equip Level 2 Booster! Gosh! Level 2 Booster? 1200? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the good thing is, I can actually do this. Oh, no. Oh, well, if it did. There we go. There we go. I can yeah, modify can the attack points. Is that permanent equipped too? Yep. Oh, baby. To I might have had a play before, but not against that. Oh, gosh. Now, 
Perfectly ultimate great- I mean, great moth. Attack! Ah! It's still dropping. Oh gosh. I don't know if a heart of the cards is gonna save me here. Then, I'll set a card face down, and I'll end the turn. Okay, maybe I do got it here. Maybe I do got it. I can beat you. I draw. Okay. We play the two-headed King Rex. Okay. Now, I will activate my card on the field. The Concentrating Current. So, I can select my monster and he gains attack equal to its defense. That only equals making it 28, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. You do have a good point, Mario. What'd you say it equal? 28? Yeah. And how much defense does he have on him? 12. Alright, so... Yeah, you're right. And you have 38? Yeah. So if mine equaled 4,000, how would you feel? Oh, boy. Attack! I'm not going to manipulate his attack because it's just going to go back at the end of the turn. But we attack into your great moth. That was smart, Zylo. That was really smart. Oh, no! Shut up! <laughs> I play if my... you force me right now. No, I'm turning your monster into an insect. Ooh. Where was that at? In my hand. You can play from the hand like a hand trap. Oh, really? I was reading it from your graveyard earlier and was thinking otherwise. Um, but yeah, you're turning me into an insect who can't attack. Can't attack other insects, but that's not all. I play my face down guard. Another cocoon of soul revolution! Tripping oh. your dinosaur and turning it into yeah, a majestic fair. insect. Okay. You know what? Well, I cannot read your card, so I take it that you got me here. <laughs> I don't have another big monster, so it's going to be the uh, the big ant. Okay. And that tributed your insect monster on your side of the field. Yep. He's gone. Go ahead. Oh, you get to keep him over there, too, huh? Yep. My All turn? All right. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I just can't move, so. All you. All right. I think it's time for the ultimate great moth to finish you. Go. Yeah. You got me. That was, well, actually, that was actually good for me that time. That was some real good back and forth at the end there, too. Yikes. Nice. Yeah, so I destroyed you the one. You pretty much destroyed me the second. I guess these two are destined to be rivals. Never Forever. to uh, fail. Mm -hmm. Now, come over here and give me a handshake. This? Oh, um, I thought you were still stuck back there. <laughs> I, I, I can kind of do it. They, yeah. uh, like this? Yeah, let me just loop my broken arm in around your hand there. Yep, okay. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> it hurt. Oh, you broke my arm. <laughs> Look at what you did to me. Oh, God. Yeah. You don't know your own strength, apparently. With my school. All right. Well, what what should we do in next video, huh? What kind of magic? I say you we thinking? we went from old school heroes versus magicians. Yeah. We went dinosaurs versus bugs. There's only yeah. one step left. We gotta go dragon. Joey Wheeler. Oh. Oh wait, what? We gotta go dragons. Oh, go Ooh. Dragons. Okay. You say versus Jack Atlas. Stardust versus Red Dragon Archfiend. That makes more sense to me. All right. That, oh, I guess, yeah. It's one of our classic matchups. I have been liking my Red Dragon lately. Let's see if I know how to run his deck. And we will see you guys in that next one. See ya, folks.